Oh, time for the stairs hurdle. Next in, this is a three mile grade one hurdle, and the field is about 12, I think. Uh, we'll wait to see them loading up. Uh, there it is, three miles grade one, five year olds and upwards, and the top one, Dark Shadow. We're going to get outside for Ryan Costello, Fred for David Robertson, Full Court Press for Joshua Sutherland, Olaz Tin, Darren Thompson, Yeomanry Implication for Craig Allen, Beachdale Lola for James Shea, Final Flutter for John Morgan, Honey Honey for Graham Clitterbuck, Lateral Thinking Leon van Rensburg, Napa Pidgey, Paul Fisk, Night and Day Leon van Rensburg, and the White Witch Joshua Sutherland. I think most people think it's probably between the bottom two. And they called in, and away they go. Who's going to take them along? Looks like it might be final flutter in the pale blue as they get to the first. Uh, the ball safely over the first with final flutter in front. With honey, honey. On the inside in second. And a gap of a couple of lengths to the grey, the white witch. Over flight number two. Distance Championship race. This one is a three mile grade one hurdle at Liverpool next week as well. As they skip over the third, but bizarrely there's not a two miler. So, what do you do with your, what do you do with your two mile champion hurdle next week? You stick it up over two and a half miles or do you get a week off? The final flutter that's in the lead. Honey Honey is second. And uh, there isn't a, a grade one jump two miler next week either. It's a strange thing that for the Liverpool meeting a grade three handicaps I think as they take the fourth and final flutter is in the lead honey honey is second in our last tin is after that one in beach down lower and the white witch Napa Pidri the two Leon van Rensburg horses are running together one on the track night and down lateral thinking Fred is down towards the inside in those purple and turquoise hoops and yeomanry implication is white on the track as well, and the green with the red cap, and the back marker is dark shadow in the white with a black cap. But it's final flutter in the lead by about a length to Honey Honey in second. And probably just about beached out on the third, but there's a long way to go yet, and they're all going pretty well as they take flight number five. Fred was a bit untidy. And the final flutter. Honey Honey second. Beach down low is third. Napa Pidri. Good early season winner. That one stepping up in trip today, I think. He is next. And all has Tin and the White Witch. Full Court Press is next. And Lateral Thinking, Night and Day. A lot of people think Night and Day is the one to be on here. Oh, night and Day or the White Witch Camp, I think. And it's Final Flutter. He is in the lead into this sixth flight. And over it they all go. That will be the last one next time round. And they've got a swing left handed net. And race out into the country one more time with final flutter. Right, two and a half lengths up on Honey Honey, who's got a similar advantage over Napa Pidri, who's now moving into third, the White Witch on the outside. He's fourth, Olaf Tin and Beach Del Zola tucked in on the rail. And full court press is also close up. Then the two Leon horses together, night and day, lateral thinking. Your only implication is just alongside them as they take the seventh. Fred jumped in at the back with Dark Shadow now had a shot. But it's final, well, there he is, and final flutter is in the lead. From Honey Honey. Over flight eight. Four more to go then. Final foot to try to make every post a winning one. Skips over number nine. There's Honey Honey second. And the White Witch in Napa Pidri. And all has tin, Beach Del Zola. Full Gaunt Press and Night and Day. Probably only really dark shadow that can't win this. The final flutter that's in the lead. Inside the final mile now, and final flutter. Jockey looks to be he's to be confident, but he jumped out a little bit slowly. Mistake too by Napa Pidri. We might be getting tired, but it's final flutter. And honey, honey, the white witch. He's looming. Night and day's going to need to 
Get a bit of a shift on, but there's still six furlongs to go. It's starting to weave its way through. The final flutter's still in front. Trying to make this a proper stiff test of stamina in the lead. The White Witch looks to be going ominously well in second. Honey Honey sticking her in there in third. Beach Dale over and Yeoman implication of trying to run on them. Full port press and all ass tin. Napa Pidri. He's still trying to get going, then night and day and lateral thinking, and then Fred, and out of the back is Dark Shadow. This is the second last, and Final Flutter is now almost joined by the White Witch. The White Witch, the jockey, just took a little bit of a tug on it. Here comes Stable Mate, full court press. Honey Honey is still there. Now Night and Day starting to make some ground up as well. And they'll begin the swing towards home. They've still got over three furlongs to go, and they've only got one more flight to take. Final Flutter has been in the lead all the way. He's in the lead again now by two and a half lengths as suddenly the White Witch has hit the wall. Full court press is trying to close. Night and Day's looking a little bit one pace at the moment and Final Flutter might have slipped the field. Two furlongs to go. They're coming down towards the final flight then now in this world hurdle and it's Final Flutter in the lead. Final Flutter but here comes Night and Day. White Witch got second wins over the final flight. They go Final Flutter lands in the lead and now Yeoman Reimplication is thrown down a big chance of still a furlong to go. Can Final Flutter hang on? They're beginning to close on him. Final Foot has been in the lead all the way. They're getting closer with every stride. Half a furlong to go. Final Foot and he's alive. Night and Day is coming. Here comes Night and Day on the outside. Final Foot is still in the lead. Night and Day lunges and Night and Day gets up and takes it. Night and Day wins it. Yeoman Unification. Final Final Footer. And it looked like Final it looked like Final Footer had just done enough but couldn't quite hang on as Night and Day Ended up winning by about a length, and Yeoman Implication might have got past Final Flutter as well, with the White Witch back in fourth. So Night and Day takes it for Leon van Rensburg. Yeoman Implication for Craig Allen is second. Final Flutter for John Morgan third. The White Witch and Full Court Press for Joshua Sutherland were fourth and fifth.